Okay, so just looks like Cold Steel stuff dropped today. I want to check this out. I'm going to take a break from my State of the Collection video and just look at these prices with you. I don't know. It seems a bunch of them are way out of bounds. But you know, that was always a thing with directly buying from Cold Steel is some of the stuff was really, really pricey. See, I wouldn't know how much you would pay for this push knife over here. 79 bucks. I mean, to me, it doesn't sound horrible. But there's some ones out here that are kind of... Oh, here we go. The Formax Elite. I don't know why they're calling it the Elite Formax. Let's see if we can figure that out. Why is it Elite? It's not the steel. I mean, steel is good. And I'm not complaining, but it, you know, the other one was 20 CV. It wasn't Elite. Um, it's not longer. It's not heavier. It's not bigger. All right, let's go back here. The Silver Eye, 270 bucks. No, 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 no. Is that with carbon fiber? It does have the carbon fiber on it. So, but still, 270 bucks. I don't see that happening. All right, let's keep going here. I think what's going to happen is everybody's going to end up waiting for the retailers to get them like we always do. Because this is... I mean, I was thinking, man, if this is anywhere, but dang gum, I'm not going to spend, I don't think I can spend 500 bucks on a 4Max with S35 in. Not that it's a bad steal, not that it doesn't look cool, but I'm going to hold off on that for a while. Man, I was really excited about this week, too. This one's kind of concerning. The 8015 light is 160 bucks. That's more than the 8015 was when it first came out, if you remember correctly, we were, well, we were paying 150 bucks for our 8015s. I think I paid 145 for the first one. So that's kind of concerning. I mean, it's going to be a great knife. It's got decent steel and everything, but again, I'm going to hold off on paying that much for that one. This one's one, the one that I was really disappointed in. I was wanting to get my hands on that pretty quick, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right, let's keep going here. What else we got here? The click and cut folders. That's not too bad. You know, the thing is, if you're getting a click and cut for usually 21, paying 28 is not a horrible idea. But if you're using the, getting the, the, the lights, like the SR1 light was right around 55 bucks, something like that, this, this kind of feels no in the no zone. See this? I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind paying twenty six bucks. I mean, even if these dropped to eighteen bucks, I wouldn't mind paying twenty six bucks for some of these. Thirty bucks. That's different. So you paying a little bit. I don't mind getting it. But then four hundred and seventy five bucks for the Recon Scout. What does the other one look like? The Trailmaster. What that one cost? Like two hundred seventy something like that. So these prices, hopefully, are not indications of what the retailers are going to sell them for. Let's see what else. The Drop Forge buoy, 140 bucks. That seems pretty pricey for the Drop Forge thing. Let me know what you think. I might be way off on these. The OU Boom Limit is 300 bucks. Dead gum. Man, that's going to be. Oh. S35BN. The boxes are signed and everything. That's a cool thing. I mean, it looks exciting to me. I like the I like the knife, and I'm not really into flippers. It's got that secondary lock on it. That's really cool. But still, you have to wait on that one too. Seven hundred sixty bucks on this Kukri. That's crazy. I know it's three V, but I have a you know I have a custom three V knife that cost half that much. So I'm. Once again, hopefully that comes down. What do you think they're going to do? Half half on these prices, maybe? 60%? See, like that Drop Forge Voyager, I might pay a little extra just to get that, but I don't know. Is that you're willing to pay another 50 bucks on something like that or 40 bucks to get that in hand? Who knows? The mini recons. What were the mini recons used to go when they're XHP? It was. 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't. Again, these seem kind of pricey to me. I mean, they are pricey. They're way out of price. Now, here we go with the, the tie lights. That doesn't seem horrible. 
I was thinking they would be in that 100, 110 zone. So that's kind of exciting. So maybe they'll be a little bit less expensive when they get to the retail. So that's not a bad thing for me is that pricing. Let's see. Again, here we go with the double safe hunter. You know, if you get the normal one, if it's normally like 35 bucks, you know, you're paying 10 bucks more. I don't see a problem with that as far as, you know, trying to get early and checking it out. And this one's upsetting here. Oh, everybody that wanted a towel mark. They're pretty much at eBay prices here. So you're going to pay 300 bucks basically for either version of the five inch towel bar. And so, but that's a kind of promising. I mean, we're going to have to wait a while, a couple months. I mean, unless you just got to have it, but maybe it'll come down. Hopefully we'll see. See, these are all in range kind of things. I know this kind of where the, what were they? The broken skulls were in that, that price range there, 55, 60 bucks. And I know the steel's not as good, but, you know, paying that, you're not going to feel horrible about it. Let's see what else they got here. I'm not going to burn through everything and make them feel bad. I don't want to do that. I'm just, man, I had all this money kind of saved up for this week, and I didn't want to not waste it, but I just don't want to burn through it as faster than I was hoping to burn through it. See, it's like 30 bucks. I'd take a shot on a $30 knife. That's not bad. So even if it comes back and they end up selling it for 20 that's not a horrible feeling. See these Bowies, 630 bucks, 570 bucks. Oh, here we go with the holdouts. Same thing, 255 bucks. The Master Tanto. What, what's the blade length on that? Six inch blade. That's a little pricey for that six inch Master Tanto, isn't it? If y'all know, let me know. See, look at that. 140 bucks for the holdouts. 138 bucks for the three inch holdout. That's a lot more than they were. So then everything else here is stuff that was around four. All right, so let's go with the gun sight counterpoint. You can get those for what? Like 90 bucks at the retailer. So 30, you know, another 40 bucks. I don't know. What do y'all think? <clears throat> What do you think on the prices of these? I can't. I would go to the swords and stuff, but I really don't know a whole lot about about the swords as far as prices and stuff. But I do know some about this stuff, and this I'm going to hold off. What are you, are you going to hold off? Are you going to break the piggy bank? And be one of the first people at the four max elite. I'm going to have to hold off on that. That's a man. Yeah, that's a Dimco MG8020 right there. You can get that and you know something else nice on the side. Another fifty dollar knife for that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, I'm excited about what Cold Steel is doing. At least they're bringing the stuff back. Not a lot of people I'll order from Cold Steel directly, even when uh, Len Thompson was in control, because they had the MSRPs on there. And so, or the was that right? Yeah, the, the big pricing, whatever the big pricing is. And so we wait for sales, Christmas sales and summer sales and all that. So that's understandable. It's kind of cool to see it's coming out. And maybe some some of the folks will start getting them in and we can see what they think of them. Let me know what you think down there. And uh, I'll talk to you later.